In this tutorial, we will cover how we made the spaceship from the February 2024 newsletter. This project combined hard surfaces with modeling in Marvelous Designer. First, for the concept of the spaceship, it is best to be clear about what your design objective is. Having a solid objective creates a stable foundation to work from in the future. We can see the final result here with all the assets in the scene. The base patterns of the ship's body are frozen or deactivated. The only avatar here was used for the creation of the engine. Both the body base and the engine are created in external software. Even so, they are two different processes when it comes to using these resources. We used two methods for the base, import as OBJ garment and import as FBX avatar. Since we want a pattern representation in the 2D window, we chose import as OBJ and selected the trace 2D patterns from the UV map option. This allows us to work directly with that mesh or pattern when it is imported. The imported object will maintain the shape in which it was created, perfect for maintaining the curvature of the ship's body with the 2D pattern. Next, we can start by drawing the different sections into which we want to divide the body of the ship. This is the step where you can give yourself complete freedom to try different ideas and designs. After selecting, the result would be this, in the case of our design. Next, we create a layer clone over of our base pattern. We want you to keep the seams with the original pattern. This project has a lot of internal lines and details, so the fewer seams you have to do manually, the better, thus avoiding possible errors. Remove linked editing, and then let's select a section area and start cutting it out. Repeat with the different areas. This will be easier to work if we have deactivated or frozen any pieces that we are not editing. Remember that for each line you cut, you must create a seam to the base pattern on the same cutting line. Finally, we will have the base patterns on one side and the cutout patterns on the other. After doing this, we can then deactivate pattern only the base patterns so that it continues to preserve the shape that we imported it with. After doing all of those cutouts, it is best to try to rearrange your patterns in the 2D window for easier visibility.
edit each part based on your design. In this case, we gave the overlapping patterns a larger size so that they have a greater extension, therefore a greater number of folds and wrinkles for a more dynamic look. All patterns to be edited will be rescaled, otherwise its shape would be too close to the base patterns, with hardly any wrinkle expression. Using this pattern as an example, you can see how a small variation in its scale affects the result in 3D. Let's take a look at another section of the ship. We're going to apply certain properties to the front panel that will give it a more rigid appearance despite the increase in size as well. It is distributed in a grid, so each line has two lines displaced on both sides using the offset as an internal line. These lines will have the properties of the fold strength 30 and fold angle 225, creating areas that stand out slightly from the rest with a gradual drop. Checking the 3D window, this is the result. For better visualization, I activated the quality render in the 3D window. For the side panel, I want to give it the effect of a large number of folds, but with opposite pressure, similar to the fabrics that cover structures exposed in the vacuum of space. So we apply pressure value of 20 in the properties panel and shrinkage warp 80. All internal lines with elasticity properties are activated with a strength value of 10 and a ratio of 80 to further increase the expression of the wrinkles. As you can see, the size of this pattern is once again larger than the base pattern. If the size is not large enough, you won't be able to see any wrinkle expression in your patterns compared to your base. With pieces that you plan to symmetrically link, you'll have to choose if you're going to merge them together into one pattern piece or if they're going to be separately sewn to the base pattern. This particular piece does not need to be merged and will be sewn to the base pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed with copy and mirror paste. As it is a finished part, it will remain frozen and will not require a base to maintain its position or simulate again. Here, I applied internal lines throughout the pattern with an even separation, applying elastic to these lines with a strength of 10 and ratio of 32. Of the entire spaceship design, that area will be covered by part of the hard surface chassis, so it does not necessarily need to merge with the other two patterns. Let's do the inverse here. These pieces will be merged together. If we used copy mirror paste like the previous item, the results wouldn't look natural. And without the base patterns, we can't simulate. Apply symmetric pattern with sewing to both the base piece and the superimposed pattern. Merge the internal lines here to naturalize the shape when simulating. By including the base pattern, it will allow us to simulate without having to worry about the seams.
If you have projects with high polygonal load, with many parts that don't collide with each other, you can then use the freeze or deactivate to isolate the parts that you want to simulate and improve their performance of. Simulate. Using the same technique as the grid pattern, you can obtain a series of patterns with a more rigid appearance. It will help you create pieces that cover not so expressive areas of the folds and that are close to the hard surface modeling style. The offset as internal line in both directions on the internal separation lines allows us to increase the bending force with the fold angle and create a small separation between each section. For this type of part, it is preferable to use quads in the geometry. You can see how the loop is respected throughout the pattern. This technique helps us isolate the areas with small strips, with more or less pronounced angles. Isolating the largest circle from the top, we can find a flat circumference with respect to the base pattern. This other separator, however, has more perpendicular folds, standing out from the base pattern. Let's freeze this and move on to another area. To finish the review of the techniques used in the body of the ship, let's take a look at the top pattern, applying elastic to the internal lines which do not follow any specific order. Pressure of 32 is applied to the entire pattern, as well as shrinkage warp value of 80. A certain randomness allows you to break with each organized structure in the patterns. After creating the body, we are going to make an example of how we can use parts of the ship as an avatar and others as garments. To facilitate our creation process while respecting the limits of our design. To create the engine, I imported the engine as an FBX avatar so that it interacts with the patterns that cover it. We import a section loop of the engine as an OBJ or garment to serve as support, also the back of the spaceship, making it easier for us to sew the pattern. This is what it looks like after simulating our pattern. In the 2D viewer, we can see it clearly identified as a white pattern. The shorter width is sewn to the sectioned loop of the propeller and the longest width at the back of the ship, as they're imported as garment. We can measure their exact properties. These two frozen patterns, the two supporting ones, will not be visible during the render, so once you're happy with the result, you can delete them before exporting. In this case, we are going to save this as a project and combine both the body and the engine cover in the same project. For texturing, we apply fabrics of the same type to those patterns that share materials. With everything in place, time to check the UVs. Finally, as we export FBX, joining the design parts created in Marvelous Designer to the rest of the ship in the rendering software of your choice. And this is the result of the project. We hope these techniques will help you create similar projects combining Marvelous Designer with hard surface modeling.